Hi, how are you? In this video, we're going to talk about Town Hall 10s and how you can farm like an absolute legend. And we're getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another video. Today, you and I are going to be looking at my Town Hall 10, and we're going to be farming. That's right. We're going to be using some of the best hits, some of the things that you can use in your next farm raid to be an absolute boss. I'm going to make these attacks live to show you how they work. There's going to be two different ones. It's going to be a ground and air. So why don't we just get started right now, and let's do it. Now let me make myself a little bit smaller so you can see. And what is the first army that we're going to be doing? Well, the first army that I love farming with, right? First of all, any army that you normally want to farm with a Town Hall 10, 11, really 9, any Town Hall, you're really looking to make sure that you save on your Dark Elixir, right? The Hero Grind, the Troop Grind, and all that stuff, you really need your Dark Elixir. So whenever I farm, most of the time, unless I'm going for an old Dark Army, I try to not use any Dark Elixir. These two strategies follow that same suit they do not use any dark elixir whatsoever and as you notice right here we're gonna start with the ground attack this ground attack is actually really good I love this so basically what you have to do is you have 10 giants you have some wall breakers to make sure you get in because I don't really use a wall wrecker again I, I don't like to use a clan castle on my farming raids it's just one of the things that goes on I mean if I have to if it's like really awesome I see something that's really amazing I'm like, right, I'll go for it but normally I just don't use it so, uh, I bring five wall breakers for that reason, to break in through the first wall. I have two jumps to make sure that I keep pushing the troops. There's three P.E.K.K.A.s, there's healers, it's kind of like a P.E.K.K.A. giant smash. And then there's two baby dragons, and those are used to basically funnel. It's nice and easy, because you just choose one point entry into the base, and you just get in there, jump, rage, you know, and then freeze and get through the base. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look at that, and we're going to make a live attack with it. And then after this one... After this one, we're going to take a look at an air attack. I love running air, and this is a really beastly attack, so that's what we're going to take a look at. So, let's see. Do we want to take this base? It's not bad. It's a pretty good amount of stuff. So, it's got a center DE, right? That's something that we definitely are going to want to make sure that we get into, right? We're looking for the Dark Elixir. So, why don't we do that? Why don't I show you how this works if you wanted to get into a center of the base or something like that? So with that being said, we are going to do this. So easiest thing to do, right, is to start my baby drag funnel. I always start my baby dragons on one side and then another. Now the baby drags in this case, like I said, they're not going to be bothered much at all. So they're going to create a nice little funnel for me. That funnel is what I'm going to make sure to like capitalize on when I send in my... This little archer tower is going to be annoying. I actually didn't see that one. They create a nice little funnel. The funnel is created. Then I'm going to start with a pack on one side, pack on the other. I'm going to start with a few wizards to make sure that I give them a little bit of a push. Then we're going to go with the king. And then I want to make sure that I get into that center, right? So I test a wall breaker. I'm glad I tested that. I wouldn't have gotten it. And then I send my queen, my healers, and my 10 giants. I save two wizards for cleanup. That's in the one behind. I'm gonna jump into the base and then I'm gonna rage. As far as the freezes go, I'm going to capitalize and try to make sure that I keep my king as alive as possible. And then I center right through the base. I'm gonna rage these one more time. Keep that king alive. Come on, king. Stay alive. Don't die to those multi infernos. <laughs> Right? And then afterwards, I actually don't stay with the king. Most of the time, the healers should live through this. They aren't working in this case. So I'm going to start with the... My giants are still moving. My queen is behind. I still got the pop on her. So I'm going to be freezing right over here. I'm going to want to make sure that I keep my giants alive and well through the bases. Everything else just kind of goes through and cleans up. So notice that the peckers are kind of smashing, right? Doing a bunch of work. I actually didn't even notice this guy right here. This little... This little X-Bow right here is just going to keep shooting. So I'm going to throw a couple of a couple of my archers at it. See if I can get it down. 
before it takes out my Pekka. There's two, there's two Expos, but really, honestly, what's awesome about this attack, a lot of the times, it didn't happen in this case, but a lot of the times what happens with this attack, the healers get behind the Giants, and honestly, just the Giants get keep tanking through the entire base while the healers keep them alive and then you have the packers and the the heroes right here behind just smashing through everything it's a really fantastic attack it's really easy all you have to do basically is make sure that you use two baby dragons one on one side one on the other side create the funnel create the funnel you start your packers with a couple of wizards behind them and then you send in your heroes your healers your giants and the rest of the attack save like two of the wizards and then your uh, archers for cleanup to see if you can get some of the buildings or whatever and then you just jump rage jump rage get in there and, and do your thing and then you freeze wherever you know appropriate and that's how you can just pretty much smash like most of the bases and if you don't smash them you at least get most of the you know loot that you need so you just basically center this crazy army and it's kind of like a healer giant pekka wizard walk so to speak i really love this attack i run on many different town hall levels but it really works well at town hall 10 I hope this, you know, attack works for you. Let me know if you're going to use it, if you have been using it, if you're using a different attack. What do you think about it? Let me know down below because I'd love to hear it. Let's go into the next attack. Let me show you the air version of what I like to farm with at Town Hall 10. And we got a nice little bonus for ourselves. A bonus that we don't need because <laughs> my Town Hall 10 is totally max. I don't need any loot at the moment, but what are you gonna do? So what is the next attack that we're gonna run? Before I do that, I'm actually gonna lose my heroes really quick so we can get this one in, right? And the next attack that we're gonna run, love this attack. This is a variation of a queen walk. It's one of my favorite. I, I love running queen walks in general, right? The first attack that we saw actually did not have a queen walk, although you could. You could take the four healers and run a queen walk into it, but let me not get into that. With this attack, what I like to do is I like to run a queen walk on one side, do a, establish a funnel. My funnel is usually the baby dragon. Make sure that my queen goes one way, and then I'm gonna meet my dragons and my queen into the base. That's what I, I love doing that, because the dragons are really powerful. Your queen walk is super strong and can keep walking i bring a jump with me in case i wanted to do a queen charge right most of the time that works a queen charge i have one freeze with me for in case i run into a single inferno but most of the time i'm going to be raging the queen i do save one sometimes two rages for my dragons but again it's something that's situational and one of the things that works really well with this attack anyway you can funnel all of your dragons into a specific like center of the base for example and take out like uh, the dark elixir or whatever else that they have stored and then the queen can either charge in or can walk on the outside and pick up all of the rest of the collectors other storages and so on is a really effective attack works really well at town hall 10 it actually works really well on all town halls but i really love this specifically at town hall 10 i run this all the time whenever i have to farm my tents and i suggest that you do as well check it out let me know what you think about it i'm going to make a live hit right here on the air right now and uh, let's see how we do uh, with this attack all right, so here we go, finally. Army is cooked, ready to go. Our air attack, super excited. So let's get started with this one. What are we gonna do? We're gonna make a live hit with it. I'm gonna show you how it works. This is a queen walk into dragons. Love this attack. So let's look for a good base that of course has lots of loot so we can show you that this is a very viable strategy and works really well. Looking for some dark elixir as well, right? Because most of the time you're looking for dark elixir when you're farming. At any town hall level, specifically town hall 10, we are gonna look for a good base though. Not something, you know, something that's full strength, hopefully, because that's what I want to showcase to you now. Okay, so he's got 4k of dark, it's pretty good, but this base not very good. So I'm gonna So uh yeah, town hall nine and no bueno. Thank you. <laughs> What I like about this attack is you can start your queen walk, and a lot of times, you know, when you're running your queen walk, you don't really know which way to go. You do have a baby dragon right here to establish a funnel. It's very important because the dragons can really go from another side, right? So if, you, if you're if you gonna be running your dragons, it's really easy to funnel them. You can literally just basically use one dragon to funnel and get into the base. Uh, let's see. So he's got pretty good dark elixir not bad base is okay i mean i guess it's like a farming base right so yeah i guess this is a farming base so why don't we see if we can do that so with the queen walk right we want to make sure that we get in somewhere uh, it's very important for her to reach 
the air defense to not get roasted. So I'm gonna send her in this way, I think. I wanna send her in this way so I can, I, I, wanna, I wanna get that dark elixir, right? So that's very important. So I'm gonna go queen right here with the healers or right behind because she's gonna be able to reach this air defense right over here. Let me zoom in so you can see. This air defense right here, she'll be able to reach. Um, and then that's gonna really give me uh, a nice little defense right there for for my dragons right i don't want to make sure so i'm going to rage her i'm um, sorry to interrupt but i am definitely going to rage her you want to make sure that she gets through this rages are important if you have to use all your rages on her then you do that's just what you have to do i'm going to probably jump her in somewhere over here i think she's going to be able to totally be fine if i jump her in right here and maybe even get one of the infernos and then i can start my dragons either from this side or the other side i can also Take my king and establish a nice little funnel right here. I could take my king, get him in this way, and maybe get another air defense out. That would be good. I don't really care about time, right? Because you are definitely, definitely farming. You don't care, right? Why do I care about time? I'm not trying to get 100%. I'm just trying to get that good loot. My queen is doing fine. My king is getting there, so I want to make sure that I get in there and get that inferno. Oh, that in front of that air defense right here. I'm gonna rage the queen one more time so she gets this. Maybe get her in. And I think now it's time for my dragons. One going this way, and then the rest going in. I want to get these dragons into right into here. Then there, I'm gonna rage the dragons right here. Get right into the base. Loons are back up. I'm gonna send them right over here to places that they can't reach and the baby dragon for cleanup in the back I'm not gonna use my clan castle because I don't need it. I'm gonna make sure that I get this dark elixir That's my most important Factor in here <laughs> get the dark elixir. I didn't end up getting that so it's pretty good I'm gonna pop my queen in the interest of time and then swivel a couple of archers on both sides over here to see if I can get that 100 percent like I said I really don't need it but you know how easy was that <laughs> not that easy right but the key here the most important thing to this attack it's very important to remember that you don't care about time don't freak out don't worry you know run your queen and think about your your key strategy here what are you trying to do you're trying to take out air defenses because you're gonna run dragons right if you take air defenses out if you take a expo out if you take a Maybe even a nice little inferno like I did right here, right? Maybe even a wizard tower. It's just extra, you know, kudos for you. And your queen's gonna keep walking. You might not get to 100%, but you're gonna get all the loot and get what you want, right? I got most of the loot. 80k back to him, but this is a solid attack. I almost got 100%. Maybe if I just ran it a little bit faster, I could have done that. Or maybe done things a bit different. But you see how strong this attack is. It's very versatile. It ring based, not ring based. It doesn't really matter. Your queen's gonna keep walking. She's gonna keep giving you that value. And you just want to make sure you do that by just raging her and keep, you know, getting her in there. And that's how I like to run my farming when it comes to air. It's really, really popular. And you don't have to use any dark elixir. That's the key here. No dark elixir. You don't have to run a Lalo or any of that because you don't have any lava hounds, right? You do, but you don't want to spend the dark elixir. So that's why this is a very popular, very good way for you to extract loot from pretty much any base, including Town Hall 12. That's right. I can extract Town Hall 12 nice little dark elixir with this good attack you know you might get 50 percent one star but it doesn't matter right you're just trying to get loot ladies and gentlemen we just watched two different ways you can farm at town hall 10 like an absolute legend that's right you can you can farm with the dragons and the, the archer queen walk and you can also farm with the good old ground giant pekka healer smash attack i love running both of them they don't use any dark elixir they're fantastic for farming they're fantastic for grinding getting a town hall 10 offenses and defenses upgraded while you're having a lot of fun these are versatile attacks they work on most big bases ring bases or not they were pretty good and i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you learned something today if you did make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already folks because i have like i said i have a lot more stuff coming for you i'm super excited to bring you more new collaborations a whole bunch of new series and a whole bunch of more exciting stuff that i will tell you as time goes on sincerely um sincerely hope like i said that you enjoyed this video thanks and make sure to watch this one right here this video is really cool and i'll see you there